a spark, a space for play, art and rest. Spark equips people with playful interventions using natural and upcycled materials and tactile objects that spark imagination and ideas, the best tools for construction. Imagine a world where a stick couldn't become a wand or a paintbrush or a drumstick. Ideas and creators have always shaped the world and given the space to exercise vision is powerful stuff. The ideas that come out of a spark event inspire us to keep creating and for me that's what it's all about. The continuation of the creative sparks we experience and then sharing them. There are no instructions at Spark. The setup allows exploration at your own pace, connecting to natural materials and building community. The complexity that many of us face in our day-to-day -day lives can be alleviated at Spark, even just for a few hours. Today we are working on Spark. Um, making loose arts, so all our arts bits that make up the components of Spark. And we're also working on making a zine as a toolkit so that we can share our ideas on how to make Spark yourself in communities. Yeah, so this is like the mess. Currently, I'm like putting together the pages of the zine. And um, we're going to go for like a collage sketchbook vibe. Um, everyone else is doing their thing, making, creating. Hi, my name is Anne and I work for a local charity called Eco Birmingham and Eco Birmingham uses Maysfield Garden as a venue for their activity and I'm the treasurer and a volunteer at Maysfield Community Garden. We've been working with the Glue Collective on other projects and what they will be doing here is a new sitting area We'll have also an extension to our mud kitchen area. They're also building a little um, shelter to put the, the loose part uh, element that some of the volunteers are working on as well. Uh, so it's great that the Northfield Community Garden are being linked by this, uh, these elements uh, that the Glue Collective bring. It's, it's brilliant. paint them black and like paint roads on them so then children will use them either for balancing making their own roadways or if there's any cars or anything or they'll make a little car or make something. My name is Jackie Curless, I'm the project manager for Allen's Cross Community Garden. So the garden started in March 2015 through lottery funding so we've developed the space, it used to be a blank space. So we've got all sorts of things happening at the garden, including a B education hub uh, for primary school and home education children, and different activities for volunteers on site. Today we've got the Glue Collective on site and they're doing some art installation for us. So they've been here for the last week and at the moment they're building some oversized chairs and some items for children to play with and they're doing some work on the stage for us and they're building an archway which is going to be above our tail. This is a recycled gazebo side so a lot of the stuff that we use we try to um, repurpose, reuse things that already exist. We try to avoid like buying loads more resources so we just try to use what's accessible to us and create it into art basically. So Chantal is sewing into the gazebo side and we'll use it um, to decorate the garden in the summer. Hello, I'm Emma, I'm from Northfield Arts Forum and welcome to Northfield Community Garden. Today we've had our group of volunteers dismantling the base of our greenhouse because Storm Eunice uh, destroyed it, took it to the skies, um, and also starting to plant tomato seeds so that we're getting some vegetables starting to grow, um, but also some flowers as we're really keen to get a lot of pollinators into the space. 
particularly as we're so near the main road, we want to just balance all the, all the pollution and flowers and everything, get all the balance right. Also really thrilled to have the Blue Collective in with us today and they are building us a mud garden, which is absolutely brilliant. One of our aims over the summer is to get in as many families and children and to get all the community involved and build the most wonderful area for the kids to play in and we're absolutely thrilled. What sparked the spark? We're all play workers and artists. In the 1990s, pop-up play in Ladywood Parks, kids playing with dens, making and painting, parents picnicking on the grass, I introduced a simple ingredient of wool and sticks, and soon we heard, go and play, I'm making something here. Making something for the first time since school. They have the space and the time and the inspiration to create something. If play is innate, a basic human instinct, then adults are often deprived. So the aim of Spark is to create spaces for everyone to play. So if Spark is a fire, we've been collecting sticks for a long, long time to build it. As an artist, I used to make work inspired by play with found objects. I realised the missing ingredient was for children to actually play with the art and to use the art to make inspiring play spaces. At Sparks we've heard, look at this, it's made from wires and lids and plastic bags. And I have a pallet at home, I'm gonna make one of those. And we are never ever gonna throw anything away again. I'm making some baskets. I think these are gonna go. We're gonna like use them as hanging decorations. Contemplating putting them together like this. I don't know. And we'll use them to decorate um, the sparks over the summer. We've got a new tunnel going up that we'll use as a den or entrance to the wider X poly, poly tunnel. Um, that will also be like a giant den. We've got loads of resources, a lot of it's like things that can't be recycled. So, making things out of things. Hi, we're here today at Manor Farm Park, like in the park event, but also part of our spark pop up series as part of the Commonwealth Games Creative City programme. We've brought some of our elements of spark, we've brought the loose arts parts, we've got the mud kitchen, we've got the mark making and we've got weaving but yeah lots of engagement and lots of participation from families and children. This is the Secret Garden, it's at Rookery Children's Centre in Hansworth. We've set up a spark for the local residents on Mount Pleasant Avenue. Lots of them are turned up, it's been a really nice intimate session. Um, one of the parents, we've met her, she's been following us to different places but we've actually popped up on her grove. So what she's saying, sitting in the garden looking and observing her little daughter and she said Oh, this reminds me of my childhood. When you take my daughter out and she wants to go into ball pools and cinema and everything, it costs a lot of money, but this is all free. She's happy playing in the mud. She's happy building things and balancing and making dens and things. So it's really, uh, really special. A spark, for me, it sparks memory whether that's conscious or unconscious. And it's kind of sparks that connection to place and our sense of belonging.